Hey folks, Pastor Jay here from Know the Truth. Something has been on my mind as of late. And no, it's not that perverts. I'm talking about bigotry. And not the kind of bigotry that Christians face when we're forced to bake a cake or share Christmas with the Jews. I'm talking about the kind of intolerance that can cause real harm, pure hatred, and vitriol... Veo... Vitriol... Vitriolic. 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 And vitriolic acid. Joseph Martelli here doing another video in front of the dirty bookstore in Niagara Falls, New York. Talk of the town. Uh, I can just imagine what's going on in this place. Look at all the cars there. Filth, wickedness, sin. People are committing homosexuality acts back there. People are having bullshit. Semen spitted on the floor. Feces rubbed on the wall. Married men. Women don't eat. Married women don't eat. Know their husbands are going in here. I'm going to prove all this different stuff, too. I was guilty of going in here, committing homosexuality, filth, sin, abomination. Totally against this Bible. Totally against it. I hate it now. I hate my homosexuality that I've done. I hate it. I hate that sin. I hate it with a passion. I hate it. The Bible says it's sin. And it's an abomination and it's against God. Plain and simple. Look, we all know that gay people are going to hell, but to wish to send them there sooner than nature intended makes you a complete asshole or a bitch, depending on which bathroom you can use in South Carolina. We Christians are supposed to be kind and loving, not hateful psychopaths who wish for people to get injured or die just because they wish to stick their tally whackers in another dude's poop shoot. What about turning the other cheek? This cheek, not the other cheek. The ones the homo gays like to grab when I'm in the nightclub. They should buy me a drink first possibly a midget. Anyway, we Christians have a duty. That duty is to be kind and understanding to other people's differences. It's why God made people different to begin with, to test our patience, especially when they leave ignorant comments in one of my videos. He also made us different to test our ability to love other people who are different unconditionally. Yes, the Bible makes a great shield, and many times it has saved my face from getting hit with substances, but we cannot hide behind it forever, folks. We need to make our own decisions from time to time, which is why God gave us free will. We can make a choice whether to love and accept or hate and disregard. I have personally lived a fuller and happier life by accepting the former. I don't hate anybody. Except the kids in the park who call me old baldy whenever I walk by them. God, where are those bears that you promised me? Anyway, to summarize, there's never any reason to hate anyone who is different from you, especially to wish death upon them. Unless, of course, they're in purgatory, aka a coma. Love thy neighbor was a fairly African-American and white statement. Don't beat them up with your wimpy friends. Protect them, respect them, and most of all, tell them to subscribe to this channel. It's disobedience, it's lustful, it's effeminate, it's abusers of themselves and mankind. We deserve to be put in hell. We deserve to be stoned. We deserve to be anything type of physical death we deserve it for that homosexuality thanks for watching these videos bigots